Hey, we're here at the damn show, the Triad Orbit booth. I got Nick here, he's gonna show us. These mic stands are pretty incredible. Wait till you see this. Awesome, well thank you, man. It's nice to have you guys here. Uh, Triad Orbit. Uh, the mic stand has pretty much been the same thing for about, I don't know, what do you say, 150 years, been the same design, go this way and go this way. So we have been around for about 10 years. We got eight years before that of R&D to be able to give you guys a completely different product. Now, one thing you can notice here is that if you hold this, yeah. what's the first thing you notice? You gotta love when you hold something nice, <laughs> you know? I just like that. Exactly. Yeah. So this thing's about 15 pounds. The cool thing is when you add a bunch of weight, that means physics 101, I'm not super into math, but physics 101 tells me that heavy weight means low center of gravity means I can go a lot further with it before it actually topples over. Yep. The cool thing about these is our big boys are also Oh, cool. Air loaded. So I don't know about you, but I have a bunch of little bites from yeah. the big ones that come Pinches down and come slam yeah. on my thing. Mm. It sucks. Also with these, the legs lock. So if you want it to be tilted, or if you have an odd environment that you need to record on, oh, cool. or if you just need to condense down room or get into an odd spot. Yeah. The key to most of our stuff here, modularity. Everything works with everything. So now you can take whatever you want and we can snap it right into there. Cool. Nice. So that's a standard mic clip in this case. It's a standard uh, mic clip. What else you guys have? We have a bunch of different things. You can put anything from cameras to lights. If you want to put a desk on there, whatever. I know this sounds super cheesy, but really the limitation is your imagination with it. With lots of weights, weights, with a lot of weight, we can now add more stuff to it. We can go up and out and further with it. The other part All of right. it, the orbit is orbital. So let's snap in a boom. It's on a ball joint. So we can go and fine tune yep. wherever we want to. Now keep in mind, it's all modular. So if you want to put a light on there, if you want to put a camera on there, whatever you want to put on there. So people walk uh -huh. by all the time like, oh, I see your mic stand. It's like, I mean, we, yes, technically, but there's a lot more to it I than just a mic so stand. this is like one product that you can buy and you can sort of build out from that? Correct. That that Think of okay. like snap-on tools. There's a bunch of yeah. tools in your tool belt for it. So for you as an audio engineer, you don't have to worry about your accessories. You can worry about the art, let the artist stand there, do what he wants, and you can work right around him. A couple of new products that we have here, we call it the IO rack. So that screws on right to your rack space. Okay. So now wherever you oh, have that you. rack, you can now snap onto there. Yeah. Now you can do a camera, you can do a, uh, a screen on there, you can do a microphone, come off with the SM7, whatever. So now, where Triad Orbit super shines is when you get away from stands, when you go into clamps, when you go into mounts for it. The next new product we have is that. Nice. And this has got the low center of gravity too. Yep, and these will spin. Oh, I see. Okay. That is the TDS. It is a desktop stand. Nice. So for podcasting, if you just want to set a camera on there, you just snap it right on and there. That's the same thing. So I same can use thing. any of those. Is there like an extension or something from the rack unit that can come out? Oh, absolutely. We have awesome. a ton of different extensions. Oh, yeah. A I see bunch this. of different ones. Yeah, let's see so this is for a, say, for example, for a piano. You clamp onto the harp. You can do, you can move this to where you want. And say you want it by the hammers. You want to do an X, Y. No stands. Cool. Yeah. Or if you want to remove it and put a camera on there or a light on there, it's really, yep. I know it's cheesy, but it's really your imagination. It's really the limitation for it. So wow. there's more tools you can put in your tool belt to be able to help you be as creative as you really want to be. We want you yeah. to be and I as can creative see, free to do it. You know, not only is it kind of robust, so that's going to, it's going to last for a while, but also like as your needs change, I can totally see that adapting yes. with you. You're not going to have like wasted your money on something that you no longer need because correct. It looks like it's all interoperable. Correct, you know? and we can grow with you. Yeah, nice, really cool. So everything from stands to clamps, speaker stands, and mounts. Atmos and immersive audio has been huge. I'm not sure if you've seen that, been walking around the whole booth. Every it's speaker everywhere. manufacturer, yep. Everybody is doing it from Netflix to ESPN. So what we do is we provide the stand and the mount for you. So hmm. what this does, you take the speaker and you can mount the speaker on the ground. 
you yeah. can set the angles. You put the wall mount on the wall, so now you by yourself can just take it and slide, slide it right in. in. We do different adapters for different speakers. We also have universal ones. So if you have any mounting hole in the back, you can use our stuff, mount on there, and put a speaker on there. Wow. Wow. And that, I could see that being useful for really, for many setups, but you're saying it's especially useful when you got to get some height speakers, you got to get some exactly. rear sides. Exactly. We also do pipe mounts for it. So all you got to do is buy our adapters, screw in the pipe, and it can come down as much as you want. So for clouds, you got you have to go above and you have to yep. go around with it, which is kind of tough when you have to go above. Yep. How do you how do you do that? Well, we provided a way to actually to do that. So our catalog is growing and growing and growing more and more as there's more speakers that come out, more people get into the Atmos game. Uh, so we want to provide a solution for every person. We did so we did an install with uh, Vintage King and with Focal. It took them typically ten hours and three dudes. They were able to do it with one guy in two hours. So we've got. Our SW1 is our big boy, so it's got two locking pins. You have a locking pin here and a locking pin here. So what you do is you can set the angle where you want it to be, and you lock the pin. Install it on the speaker. Take it with it locked in, and just slide it right in. That's it. Cool. So, you and I don't have to be up there angling it with the third guy down there, yeah. doing the adjusting and doing the adjusting. Really, it's as simple as you by yourself being able to do it. So we're able to provide, and you can feel the weight on this. It's yeah, yeah it's sturdy stuff. I mean, you can't obviously feel it through the camera, but you know that feeling when you hold something that's heavy. You're yes. like, all right, that's that's nice. Yeah. We're very ready. active on social media. Okay. Uh, feel free to reach out to us on social media. We're on every platform you can think of. We sell everywhere: Sweetwater, B and H, Vintage King. Anywhere they sell equipment, we got you. You can come direct. Nice, man. So, well, thanks for your time. Kyle, thank you for I everything. It's it. great to see you again.